When you have a tight-knit community like this and, and you have three children die on their lunch break, um, it, it affects everybody. Deputy Chief Innsbrenner says working scenes like the one that killed three teenagers Thursday afternoon is taxing on first responders. And the memories of those moments never leave. It's always there. I can remember every event that, that, that I've seen that was tragic from 31 years ago. Ensbrenner says it's also difficult on paramedics and firefighters working the scene, and especially for those officers who have to notify the families that their child isn't coming home. It is a, a, an emotionally draining event to have to do that. The deputy chief says he's already expressed his appreciation to the officers who had the difficult task of notifying the families, but he says that's a burden those who carry the badge choose to take on. He also says as the departments generally have systems in place in case an officer needs to talk about the experience. Generally what we do on events like this is we offer them a chance to debrief with, with a professional or a peer who's experienced stuff like this and they can talk about their emotions. Ensbrenner says the community outreach has already been phenomenal, but he says the victims' families are the ones who need the most support. I want to pray for the families. I want everybody to, to Hold them close to your heart and wrap your arms around them and give them all the love that they need right now. Shay Smith, 2 News, Oklahoma.